Yeah. So, uh, uh, you guys might have not uh, have noticed, but that was my brother, you know, the one with the cancer uh, thing and everything. You know, I said, this boy do anything for a hand clap, you know. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to say something about myself, you know. You know I, I hurt my leg. Hurt me. This is sweet. Can I get a clap for that, you know. <laughs> man, this guy do anything. But uh, anyway, let's see here. Uh, Take this mic off. Uh, uh, yes. So we was out here from Detroit. Anybody from Detroit? Yeah, you we know, don't want to turn in from Detroit, you know. But we're not really from Detroit. He is. But, uh, me and my wife, we moved out to the suburbs. We was moving on up like Jefferson. Yeah, yeah. So there's enough of this, you know. Got tired of getting robbed on Sunday after church. <laughs> By the pastor. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you know, what can I say? You know, <clears throat> just a couple things I just want to talk about. Uh, as far as uh, we're from Detroit, came down here, and I uh, was looking for the hospitality, you know, the southern hospitality, and uh, got it a little bit, you know. Like in Detroit, they be like, uh, move off the road, you stupid mother. And I don't hear it was like, move off the road, you asshole. And so, uh, you know, got a little bit of kindness from everybody, you know. And um, we was almost, uh, almost had our meal paid for uh, a couple of days ago. Um, they thought my brother was from Luanda, uh, Luanda. <laughs> thought he was from the Black Panther, you know. <laughs> Until he started talking, you know. So this here ain't from Wakanda, from the hood. <laughs> no, but uh, he was all right, you know. Came out the pan a little easily. It was done. Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> uh, talk about my dad, you know. Dad, he's gone, you know. God bless his soul, you know. Uh, you have to give me a clap for that. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, my dad, you know, he was a pretty good dad. You know, he, you know, he taught me how to mechanic, taught me how to plaster uh, uh, and paint and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he taught me how to put on a starter when I was like 11 years old. I said, um, I don't know how to put on a, a damn starter. He was like, um, listen, go out there and put the, put the starter on the arm. Um, truck. I was like, I don't know how to put on a starter. He said, listen, you, your black ass got about five seconds to get out there and put on the starter. He, and I said, how am I supposed to put on the starter? He said, the same way you take it off. It's the same way you put it back on. And so I went out there and lo and behold, the same way I took it off, it's the same way it goes back on, you know. Uh, hey, it worked and everything, you know. So uh, God bless his soul, you know. He taught me how to put on the starter, you know. He didn't actually teach me hand on hand, but um, he taught me about just word of mouth to get your ass out there and uh, put on this damn starter, or you get your ass whooped. So my my dad was a pretty good ass whooper back then, you know. Uh, I got my ass whooped for uh, bad grades, you know. But he wasn't a good uh, teacher or anything like that. He just told me to go inside class in the same way the teacher teaches it, the same way I learned it, you know? <laughs> and so that worked, and so my dad got sick at one time, you know? And he had to have his uh, appendix removed, so he didn't want the doctor to do it, so he called me in and said, bring your ass on in here. I said, uh, what he said, I want you to remove my appendix. <laughs> I said, you know damn well, I don't know how to remove an appendix. I don't even know how to say the word right. They said, they said, hey, Danny, the same way you take it off, it's the same way you put it back on. I said, wait a minute, if I take it off, do I put it back on? So they said, hey, Danny, I ain't going to tell you no more. Do the surgery. So. Well, God bless his soul, you know. <laughs> Surgeon didn't go as, as planned, you know, so that's my dad. You know, he has a lot of brilliant. How, how much time I got here? I don't see a lot here. Uh, <laughs> talk about my dad a little bit longer. Uh, my dad, you know, we had a couple of brilliant ideas, like the barbecue chicken. I had the idea 
way back in the day. Barbecue chicken, because we had a little party store. And uh, I said, why don't we sell barbecue chicken inside the store, Dad? And he said, he looked at me with the little, you know, sad look in his eye with the big watery eyes. He said, son, that's about the dumbest ass <laughs> idea I've ever heard. Like, who in the hell heard about selling barbecue chicken inside a store? And so, you know, that didn't work out so well. You know, that goes like, I don't know if I get a minute after that, so I, <laughs> I, I think I better leave now. But, but I just want to thank you all for this wonderful time. We're going to call up our good friend from the Middle East, you know. You know. I'll talk to you. <laughs>